What's going on everybody? I'm Jackson Taylor and today we're going to be planting this 15 gallon black beauty mulberry tree. So when you go to plant your mulberry tree it's a good it's a good idea to keep one thing in mind which is how much space you're gonna give it because this is our three-year-old mulberry tree white mulberry tree right here and it's taking up a lot of space in our yard. It does give shade and that's good but it does take up a lot of space. We also have just a one-year-old cutting of a Shangri-La mulberry that's already completely, it's already super huge. So where we're gonna be planting it is right next to those bananas right there. And we will eventually be moving our bananas so, so that it doesn't, so that the mulberry can grow but, and we're gonna be moving them to a new area. But right now, we're just gonna start planting. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about some of the amendments that we're going to be putting in the hole. So right here, we have some gypsum, and that helps with the drainage to let the water go through so it's not all sticking through the top. So, and then our next thing on our list is some clay soil mixed with Seamus soil and it has lava rocks in it and it has life and nutrients in it. So that will be very good for our Also mulberry. helps with drainage. Mm -hmm. And over here we have millipede and pure millipede and potato bug castings. So we're excited about this. We did make a video on our millipede setup we had desert millipedes and bumblebee millipedes and this is their byproduct you can see that there's still a lot of isopods in here that are going to be part of our soil soon um, but hopefully this is a very strong casting for us that'll give us some good results we're excited about it okay so now let's show you the hole okay so when you go to plant your mulberry tree it's good to make sure that the hole is at least two times bigger than the Actual hole, than the, than the plant. Also, it's good to make sure that your plant is, uh, this part of the plant is a little bit above ground because the roots, like these little ones on the surface, that's how the plant gets its oxygen. So, and it will die if it doesn't have oxygen. So, also, you need, so, the wood chips, you can kind of just see the line in this hole, and that, and those give you good nutrients as well. Also, you can see the wood chips go down to about here, so, a lot of years of wood chips have really given this a lot of built up soil. Also, you it's a good idea to have some native soil because it, it you need to make sure that when you have native soil you need to make sure that you give it some nutrients before you go to just plant your tree and so now we're just going to start planting so before we put the tree in we're going to get some gypsum 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 Couple scoops of that. Mix it around with a shovel. Oh, with a shovel? Yep. Okay. Mix it around with a shovel. Kind of chop into it. Okay. Okay. So that should be enough of that. So now we're going to make sure that the tree is level. Help him, Riker. Right 
How many boys does it take to lift a 15 gallon tree? <laughs> a little bit above which is what we want when planting the tree because it will settle mm -hmm. we're probably going to get it down a little bit more than this because uh -huh. that's actually sticking up high so we'll be right back okay so now it's about two inches above the grade above the, above the grade and that's really good it's it's good to make sure you do that because it all of our trees that we've planted they all settled so it's good to do this i definitely recommend it and it's better for your tree so now i'm just gonna dump in some of seamus's soil and mix it all around like stuck in there. I'm going to mix it all around. Should be. Okay, native go. soil and mix it in with that. It's got to mix in with the uh, Seamus soil. You can't just pour it on top. So he's hand amending this. Some people will do this in a wheelbarrow. Um, our wheelbarrow is at our neighbors and they're still asleep right now. So get some more native in there. We're gonna use about a 50-50 mix on top. And once that's done, we'll show you the next step. Okay, so now that I got the Seamus soil mixed in with the, the native soil, now I'm going to mix the native soil with these castings. Stuff. It's a good idea not to let it touch here. Ooh. Okay. Now mix it in with some of the native soil. All right. All right. So now that I mixed the clay, the native soil, in with the castings, now I'm gonna put some wood chips on the top of that. Okay. So now we have the wood chips right here, and I'm just gonna dump them around here. It's good to make sure you don't t touch the base, or else the tree won't be able to breathe.
should be very nice for this tree. So, and that's basically how to plant a Black Beauty mulberry tree. If you like this video, please subscribe because we love new subscribers and you guys have helped us out a lot and if you like the content uh we will be able to make a lot more videos for you and see you next time